51. The Radio Whammo Breakfast. The voice of the creative economy. With Vincent Herringer. Yes, joining us uh, from Ideologue magazine, also uh, all the other magazines under the tangible uh, label as well. G'day there, Vincent. Good morning, Whammo. And today we're talking about uh, rebranding of sorts, um, in particular the announcement yesterday by MediaWorks rebranding C4 into a channel called 4, Vincent. 4, with um, four capital letters, of course. Yeah. Couldn't do it any other way. Mm. Um, it's kind of interesting because... Of course, I'm right in the thick as a, a publisher. Of, I've just shut down uh, Real Groove magazine, and um, I'm relaunching the Groove Guide in an attempt to understand where this market is going, where this youth market and where the music and entertainment market is. Mm. We think we've got a great formula for it with the new Groove Guide, which will come out in a couple of weeks. Um, and so I have some sympathy for, and I think at least some understanding about what um, MediaWorks are up to by making this change to C4, moving away from a music, largely a music format scattered with a few um, comedy shows, mm. uh, to a much more mainstream product. Mm. It kind of is going to create, between TV and Z and and three and four, so one and two and three and four, yeah. will really be mirrors of each other. You know, I think they're, they're, they'll be, they're absolutely competing head to head now. And, um, you know, in some ways it's kind of, it's four channels of blandness all coming together and competing for the same, that same kind of middle New Zealand market. That is true, isn't it? So, so um, C4, or now 4, really becomes the TV2 of, uh, of, um, of MediaWorks. Yes, it does. Yeah. So it has... Uh, it's pure entertainment, mm. um, so there's, um, there'll be no news and current affairs, as two all, already has, and obviously four doesn't have that either, but it's moving away from the music format to reality TV, um, um, comedy shows, cartoons, um, um, sort of mini pseudo-documentaries like James May um, and the Top Gear guys. Um, so, yeah, we're looking at at four and two. So it's sort of the even numbers versus the odd numbers, isn't it? The four and two yeah. um, will be pure entertainment, and one and three will be ever so, mostly entertainment, but ever so slightly more pointy-headed. And also a, a shift in the target demographic with that as well, adjusting its target audience to 18 to 49, up from its current 15 to 39. And I think that reflects a kind of disenchantment where the um, advertising is rather than so much where the viewers are. Um, so the, the advertising, you know, the, the mainstream bulk advertising in New Zealand is very much around that household spend uh, and not so much around that youth spend. And to me, that you know, makes a lot of sense. I understand that. And it's no surprise that Jason Paris, who was the marketing manager and quite influential within TVNZ, has recently shifted to MediaWorks and TV three and four, and so <clears throat> you know this is a, this is probably hit the outworking of his experience in in, um, in targeting that mainstream advertising revenue. But for me, as a publisher, I kind of um, well, I, I look at it and I think, yeah, I understand why you're doing that, but it creates quite an opportunity because there aren't many places now for, dedicated to that younger youth market and particularly around music and entertainment and um, all that's left really are magazines and blogs yeah so what i mean what can you can you define that demographic you know is it a is it a tween demographic what are we talking about um you know if you talk to anyone who's in that demographic they'd resist being described as a demographic because of course just because you're 18 doesn't mean that you share the same tastes as other 18 year olds mm. Um, and so we've gone even one step further and said, well, there's a, there's a youth market, 18 to 35, which we think is there's a particular type of 18 to 35-year-old that Groove Guide is interested in, and they're the people who go out and they go to gigs, they have good taste in music and entertainment, and they <clears throat> typically have a, a slightly higher spend than, um, uh, than others in their peer group, and certainly a whole lot more than the general population. Mm. A big focus of their um, mindset is what shall I do this weekend, uh, what shall I do tonight? So that's the kind of space that we want to go for. And we see that entertainment market 
as um, as a pretty lonely space. You know, I don't see many other um, people operating in there. There's there's obviously radio, you know, which is really dominates that space. But in a broadcast sense and in a um, in a kind of mainstream sense, there's, there's not that many people playing in there. But how do you attract advertisers to that? Because obviously that hasn't worked for C4. Well, it didn't work for C4 because um, it, they it, it's so expensive. Uh, and you know, television is expensive mm. f- uh, around niches, um, and so um, I think what what you need is is a much more niche um, product that can sort of get people at all the right places. So, for instance, the Groove Guide, what we're doing is getting it into um, takeaway joints and universities and um, apartment buildings and. Um, train stations, you know, it, interrupting people at these at the points where you would find them, so they can find it and find it useful right at the moment where they want to stand in a queue and read something, or can, you know, go to the burger bar and come back with the groove guide. So I, I think the, the the kind of niche and the interruptive model that um, that print can have um, can be really effective. I don't know. We could be completely wrong. It's an experiment, but I, I, I suspect that there's riches and niches, as the Americans say. <laughs> riches and niches. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, any anything more you want to say about the the, the C four four change? Um, well, I, I think one of the cool things about where we're going, also with the net, is that you know the best commentary on these things is in the blogs and um, the Stop Press blog, stoppress.co.nz, was the first to carry this news, and it's got really good analysis by people in the media sector. So it's not just reporting on what's happened, but then there's really good commentary and discussion around that. So there's a great piece on Stop Press, um, which is part of Marketing Magazine. Mm. And, uh, th- one point I want to add to that, and this might seem minor and everything, but you know, social media now plays a, an important part in engaging audiences and, um, and, 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 and really finding out what people sort of think about your channel and whatnot. Um, C4 on... On Facebook, had over or has got over forty-one thousand fans or likes on their page, right? Yeah. Um, you can't rebrand that page. You can't. You can't. You can't change the C four bit to four. No. Um, so. I wonder what they'll do with their well, forty-one thousand fans. Well, exactly. That presents a problem. You have to create a new page, and then you have to ask those fans to come along to the and to, to the you know, and fan the new page, and maybe. Potentially a quarter might do that. Yes. Um, yeah. So, but, I mean, it may seem big, small, but it's a, but it's an interesting issue in branding. It begs the question, though. You know, if forty if forty one thousand fans is quite a few in New Zealand. Yeah. Um, but but not by TV stand, not by broadcast TV standards. That's still small fry. But see, for me, operating in the niche space, forty one thousand fans. That's an awesome number. I can build a business out of that. But mm. for for the the um, the megalith that is. Um, Media works that, that that's just not big enough to justify a great big television infrastructure. So, yeah, I mean, c- come and join our website and our Facebook page, which will be <laughs> exciting, and um, you know, we'll deliver that that youth content that um, and that cool, uh, you know, sort of alternative look and, and street look on popular culture. I'm certainly looking forward to seeing it. Thanks very much, Vincent. Pleasure, Wemo. Vincent Hearinger, as he was just saying, of course. Um, the chap behind the new Groove Guides as well.